Good evening, or morning, or afternoon, or whatever time it is right now. And uh, welcome to Tantra Missionary. My name is Zach, and once again I'm here for another album review. And today I am doing Meatloaf's Bat Out of Hell. There you go. Yeah. Pretty, pretty epic album. Can't wait to get into this one. So um, it has uh, seven tracks. It is about 47 minutes long, which is pretty long for seven tracks, if you ask me. Um, it was made in 1977, and the genre is a uh, hard rock and progressive rock, pretty much. But it, it, it generally is rock. Um, so a little background information: um, there are 43, about 43 million copies sold, probably more. Um, so it is indeed a very popular album. Uh, Rolling Stone uh, put it on its 500 Greatest Albums of All Time list in 2003, and it is number 343. And um, the album cover is uh, number 71 on the list of 100 Best Albums of All Time. So that's pretty cool. Um, uh, Roy Bitton, who was the pianist, and Max uh, Weinberg, who was the drummer, I apologize if I didn't, it didn't pronounce this correctly, but uh, they are both... Uh, used to be part of Bruce Springsteen's um, E Street Band, and uh, they play on this album, which is pretty cool. Uh, Jim Steinman, uh, the person who wrote the songs, um, he won on the, on the album cover, it says under here, it says uh, songs by Jim Steinman. He wanted a little credit with that since he did write the songs, and uh, originally the record company wasn't going to put that because Meat Loaf was a more recognizable name, it was better for uh, marketing. For marketing and stuff, but that's the compromise they reached. So, I thought that was kind of interesting. So, now that we got that side, let's go through the tracks. The first track, Bad in Hell, the title track. Very, very epic track. We got a gawking, like it's, it's a little under 10 minutes long. Very, very, very awesome track. It's a great, a great start to the album. I think it would have also worked as a really good uh, ending track because it does have a really, uh, like, big finale at the end, but it's still a pretty good track. And the one thing that really impresses me with this track is uh, how the majority of it is all vocals. Like usually with like really long tracks you get like really long instrumentals and stuff, and the only long instrumental on this track is uh, is the, is the uh, opening instrumental, which is about takes about the, the first two minutes of the song, but the rest of it is pretty much vocals. I mean, there's a couple other instrumentals in there, but they don't really last much longer than 30 seconds, so I find that, I find that pretty impressive. The second song, you took the words right on right out of my mouth. Keep it just keeps this album going at this um at this crazy energetic rate. It's it's a very um a very happy love song, you know, just very very enjoyable to listen to. The uh, fourth, so I mean, the third song, Heaven Can Wait. We reached the first slow song on this album. And uh, Meatloaf is very good with his really fast-paced songs, but he does write really beautiful slower melodies, and this is one of them. So it's, it's, a, it's a pretty good song. It's a couple of songs for me to enjoy, but I do really like it. Very, very good. A lot of these songs are really easy to like, are very catchy and are very easy to sing along to, which always makes for a fun album for parties and stuff. Uh, the fourth song, All Revved Up With No Place To Go. You can tell just by the title that it is another one of those big explosive songs, so very, very very energetic, very enjoyable. It is almost like a shorter version of Bad Out of Hell, so it's, it's, a pretty, it's a pretty good song. Of course, it doesn't sound anything like the first song, but it's the same kind of style. The uh, fifth song, Two Out of Three Ain't Bad, you reach another one of their slower songs. This one I've actually heard on the radio before. Like, I mean, I don't listen to the radio that often, but, you know, I just, I, I felt like pointing that out, but... Yeah, this is yeah this is this is another another pretty good slower one very 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 beautiful. Um, the sixth song, Paradise by the Dashboard Light. This one's this one's definitely like about like eight and a half minutes long. So it is another really long one. That it almost sounds like like three different songs in one. It has many different parts to it. So it is a very very complex track. Very popular track. I believe it is one of the big singles. And. Uh, yeah, and it'd be really awesome. I want to hear this on the radio one time. I'll have them play, see if they actually play the whole entire song. Awesome. I'm sure I'm sure they do. Some radio stations do, I'm sure. And then the seventh song, For Crying Out Loud, 
this song there's a very good very good ending track it's slow and then it builds up to a big like massive finale so it is a very good ending track and but um it might be it probably is my least favorite song on the album not because i don't like this song but it's because i really just like all the other songs better but yeah it's still still an epic finale don't get me wrong on that so uh yeah i mean overall overall great 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 album i I really do love this album. One of the best, uh, one of my favorite classic albums of all time. So uh, yeah, that's about it. I don't. I think I may have had another other, a couple other points I wanted to point out, but can't think of it right now. So I think I'll call this, call it end. So thank you very much for watching, um, and take care, guys. Have have an awesome day or an awesome night. Goodbye.